Hi everyone, good morning. Today is a Sunday, uh, quite a beautiful day uh, after heavy rain yesterday. Um, today I am I'm going to show you how to tackle uh, annoying robot fillers. So sometimes you have set up your Power Automate desktop uh, correctly and then just sometimes it just fails, you know. Um, it's unreliable. Um, then it randomly fails. Uh, my main problem is sometimes the robot can't detect uh, the window and then it just pause there. Um, I have created a solution for this, just a looping solution um, so that when a robot fails, um, it will loop again and uh, try to um, rerun the flow. Uh, but most importantly, if you have a Windows failure, um, in Power Automate Desktop, just put a time timeout error so it doesn't uh, wait forever for the window to pop up. So maybe a two minute wait for a window to appear uh, depends on your uh, solution. Uh, without further ado, let's uh, begin. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. So this is the Power Automate Cloud Flow that triggers the Power Automate Desktop. So you will actually need to initiate some variables um, then um, then uh, the, in the do until will be your power automate desktop flow so the first step is uh, initialize variable so, so initialize variable variable underscore number of tries integer zero then the next one is uh, variable total number of tries variable to variable total number of tries integer zero um, you can ignore the initialized email because it's part of my flow but if you don't have that then it's fine All right uh, just uh, oh, uh, forget about initialized variable results as well so now the important part is create a do until so i'm um, actually asking the cloud to do until um, the unintended robot flow uh, ses becomes successful it will try four times right if the fourth time still fail then we really get a failure and now uh, you have to recheck your power automate desktop flow but if it it's successful within four times that means uh, your run uh, is uh, successful so in the do until you put the variable total number of tries uh, is equal to three then you set variable variable total number of tries uh, variable total number of tries is equal to the value of variable number of tries right then you put your unattended uh, power automate desktop flow the next step then you set variable variable number of tries when failure so it's a variable number of tries then you add one right uh, into the variable number of tries um, I will put the formula of this add in the description um, then most importantly you have to 
click on the you no know, the triple dot the e eclipse and then you um select configure run after um tick on has field and tick tock tick on has time out right so what this will do is uh if your power automate desktop fails the variable number of tries will increase by one right and uh, next one is you set variable variable total number of tries when success so variable total, total number of tries set it to value equal three so what it does is if, if the power automate desktop uh, is successful it will skip this set variable variable number of tries when failure and straight away go to this um, set variable variable total number of of tries when success right so how you set it up is uh, click on the triple dot configure run after and then uh, click on escape so set variable variable number of tries when failure is skip right so this will uh, let the uh, flow uh, stop uh, so the next one is condition you set variable number of tries is greater than three right if it's greater than three then if yes you probably send a message to yourself saying that yeah the power automate desktop has failed so you uh you ha can have a look at the flow and if no right that means uh, your power automate desktop flow uh, has been successful uh, yeah hope this video will help you uh, give it a try and uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, thank you guys see you in the next video bye bye